Yo, what's good with y'all? Happy New Year's to everyone watching the video type thing. It is New Year's, it's 2023, it is a new year type shit. I hope everyone's having a good day type stuff. You know what I mean? It's the first day of the year. It's January, new month. I hope everyone is good and all. I want to appreciate, I want to just take a second to appreciate everyone who's in my Discord server who's talking and stuff. I want to give a shout out to my new thumbnail artist, um, Mac. I'm calling Mac, I just call him Mac, but anyway. Mac and stuff like that. Uh, what's it called? He is gonna be making all my thumbnails going forward for pretty much as long as he wants to continue working for me. Type shit and stuff like that, right? All the new, th so all the thumbnails like this thumbnail, the thumbnail for this video, and all the thumbnails going forward, unless I say otherwise, will be what's it called? Designed and stuff by Mac and stuff because I'm pretty sure you guys will obviously see a difference in style and quality. And stuff like in the newer thumbnails and stuff because we went with a different style and stuff i was like it's a new year so obviously you know what i mean gotta look gotta look nice you feel me type thing but yeah though um so we have the car spawner uh and stuff like that i'm going to this is an updated video for the car spawner tutorial i didn't even plan on updating this video but someone had dm'd me like they joined my server and they had uh, dm'd me they had an issue with the car um i can't remember exactly who it was I think it was, it might have been what, it might have been only bullets or, no, it was only bullets. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. It was somebody though. I just know somebody. Somebody had uh, DM'd me asking for help with it and stuff. Shout out to whoever that was though. I just know they were in my Discord and stuff like that, right? And then they had brought the, uh, they brought like an issue or like an error to my attention. And then that's when I realized there are a lot of kind of errors with the car menu. Like just generally the car system, like with the button and stuff. Um, and just generally like, cause keep in mind, I recorded that video like four months ago type shit. So lit, you learn a lot more. But anyway, anyway, just to cut the story short, I have, uh, I've updated it. Um, instead of using five remote events, we can only use this two. We only have one script now. We don't use no stats or nothing. Um, and yeah, we switched from more client side to more service side for a lot of this stuff. So things are being handled service side. So pretty much, yes, it should be easier, more efficient, and bug free, hopefully. But it should be bug free though. But yes, though. So I want to show you guys updated video. So obviously, I'm going to have pre made and stuff. So let's get straight into it. Alrighty. So first things first, let's get our remote events. We're going to need a spawn car event and a clear cars event. The spawn car event is pretty much anytime a player presses the car menu button and then they try to spawn one of the three cars this event will fire right then we have our clear cards event it will also fall it will also fire the clear cards event which pretty much means it will search the workspace to see if the player already has any cars in existence and if they do it will destroy that car pretty much so that people can't just infinitely spawn cars and stuff for themselves like abuse that or whatever yeah um in server storage i just have the car models you would just drop all them and just name them to whatever you put on the scripts i just went car one card two car three you know what i mean and stuff then i'll show you guys the gui so right we have our right here our open car menu button uh by the way the new updated scripts will be in the description so you don't, don't even have to worry about copying down as you see yeah so we switched from a local open car menu script to a server side script it literally does the same thing just when you mouse click it will set the car chooser frame visibility to true right and it's server side rather than client side now right so yeah and then inside the frame, here's what the frame looks like. If you haven't seen my first video, it looks the same if you watched the first video, right? Then here with the closed shop, it's the same. The script is the exact same too. The only difference is that, uh, what's it called? Is that I made it server side instead of client side, right? And then over here, I did make some changes here. Uh, like I said, I moved the stats so there's no uh, car checker value in there, none of that and stuff like that and pretty much the remote events i had um i had put player you don't even need player honestly because um I, I was putting player here but i guess at the time i had forgotten that like when you when you fire a remote event from the client side it automatically sends your like uh the player the player's instance over to the server so there's no need for that so yeah with the spawn car event we send over car one and then yeah you could also do it with the clear car events, now that I think about it. You could also do that, but it doesn't really matter. But yeah. Um, and then yeah. And then the other ones is just it's literally the same. It's just that like I said, you can really remove the local player. There's not really there's literally no point in having it. I just forgot to remove it. But yeah. 
So these are the updated scripts. As you guys can see, it's obviously less, like a little bit less than it was before and stuff because I made it a lot better, bug free and stuff. But anyway, let's get to the main scripts, right? As you guys can see, we only have one script this time rather than two scripts, right? So the spawn car handler script. So we have the three variables for the three cars and then two remote events that we use. So basically, when a person, um, what's it called? When a person uh does this, like when a person fires the spawn car uh event, I mean fires the spawn car remote event and stuff. Now I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Actually, while recording this video, I just kind of realized how stupid I was to actually break this up into three different events. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I mean three different functions. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna fix that. Well, I'm gonna fix that right here. I mean, it's like if you can't. If you don't, you know what I mean? Like, if you don't fix stuff, then things like this happen. But anyway, um, yeah. It's better just have it like this because there's not really a point of, like, you know, of, like, I should say, like, having it on different ones. Like, that literally doesn't do anything. So, yeah. Like I said, though, when you guys are actually watching the video, like, the script will be good in the description. But, yeah, there you go. Okay. So, I know it looks a little weird like how it's like yeah like everything like i know it looks a little weird but yeah we could just space it over it doesn't really matter but yeah so pretty much this is the scripts and stuff it's a little different but at the same time it's pretty much the same as before type thing but pretty much it gets the card type from like from the information fired over and then if it's card one it'll spawn card one if it's card two it'll spawn card two and then etc etc uh going forward and stuff um I made sure to disable the, uh, the GUI on the server side rather than the client side just to keep everything on the server side because if we kept going in between client and server then it would most definitely there would most definitely be some errors and stuff oh sorry I didn't even realize that there would most definitely be some errors and stuff so yeah um and then I also put a little space here because before it literally was the player's name that the word car like it just looked all like like it just looked like kind of unreadable because like you're mixing the name and the name of the car rather than just the name of the car but yeah you can choose when you want to disable the gui i originally had it like as the last line but then it looked weird because it would spawn the car and then be, and then it would also and then it would disable it like a few seconds after which kind of looked weird so yeah but yeah this is it in the clear cars event i changed so that it now searches the workspace to see uh, if there are any cars belonging to the player who fired their remote event. And if there are cars, it will then destroy them following the necessary, the necessary things. Now keep in mind, this stuff is specific to these cars, right? Like, if you're using different, it depends the car models you're using. If you're using these exact same cars I'm using, then yeah, you're good. These are all free models I just got since the whole point of this video is to show you how to, how, how to make a script that spawns cars, not how to build a car. Or, model a car whatever and stuff right so this is specific towards these cars but yeah that's really it um yeah so this is the newly updated car spawner and stuff like that like i said it's honestly it is very much so improved less work less work and definitely more bug free so we can go ahead and just demonstrate this there we go there's the car let's find another car then another car and boom there you go right it's perfect. Oh, that's loud. Anyway, but uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like I, like I said, again, Happy New Year's. Thank you, everyone who's been supporting me throughout the year. It's going to be a great year for the channel. I honestly, I honestly hope we honestly get to a thousand subscribers by 2024. I think we will and stuff. I really love my community because I, like, y'all do be supporting and growing for real. But yeah, though. So we'll see. We'll see where we're going and stuff. Once again, shout out to Mac, my thumbnail artist and stuff for making all these new hard thumbnails. I fuck with them nice and stuff and let me know what you think of the thumbnails too and stuff like that uh in the comment section actually but yeah if this video was helpful leave a like subscribe join the discord and roblox group the links can be found in the description and yeah i hope y'all enjoy your day and appreciate y'all for watching i'll see y'all